What's up guys, one Koala Man here bringing you episode number 8 of our Attack on Titan reviews. And today's episode, we get the identity of this mystery Titan. So I am hyped for that, but that is at near the end of the episode because that's just how everything goes, right? So if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to destroy that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe so you can be a part of this awesome channel. Again, not trying to brag. <laughs> and just so you can, you know, get to know me, so I can get to know you, all that good stuff. Be sure to share it to everybody you know would like stuff like this, pretty much. And that's about it. So let's get this mother underway. So to begin this episode off, we start off with Armin and Mikasa and Connie, you know, talking amongst each other, saying, hey, we got to get back to the HQ where uh, Jean and the rest of the squad is going. And Armin is saying, well, well, hold up, hold up. You've seen what this thing can do. It's not after us, it's after other Titans. So maybe we can lure this Titan to the HQ with all the other Titans, and then it could just wreck all of them so we can get in there safely and all that good stuff. And so Connie's thinking, like, are you freaking nuts, Armin? And I'm thinking that too. But they, they actually go for it. So I'm like, okay, because what Mikasa says it is better to go off a of gut instinct than face death in its face, pretty much. So I know that's not how the saying goes, but so I guess that's an all right plan for Armin. So uh, Armin, Connie, and Mikasa go towards the the mystery Titan, and they try and recruit it, so to speak. So as that is happening, Jean is looking down at a build from a building at his comrades. Well, not all of them, but a few of them getting eaten by titans. And he's thinking, this is just too much for me. And he's saying, wait. And he thinks of a plan. And he yells out to the rest of the uh, living comrades. He's like, we got to use this as a distraction. So let's go to HQ right now. And so we can, you know, not have to face all these titans. So they think it's an all right idea. And they start bolting out. Some titans get some comrades, unfortunately. Because that's what always happens in it. Always Titans getting uh, comrades. So um, John and you know quite a bit of them get to the base finally, and they're safe inside until they see like a Titan smash his head into the wall. And because there's so many humans in one room, that one Titan smelled all of them, and it's just attracting the rest of the Titans to that one area. So they're looking death in the face. Or death in the two faces because there are two titans looking in the big hole that the first titan headbutted into the wall and Jean is saying this is it we can't win and he just pretty much gives up and then he sees like a fist hit one of the titans and he's like what and then boom the mystery titan comes through and he starts sweeping the floor with all of these titans he starts left hook right hook uppercut down uppercut, whatever, he starts going ham on these titans, and that gives the humans a little bit of motivation, and Armin's plan actually worked, so Armin is actually good for something for once, so now everybody is, you know, gathered together, and they go into like, uh, like this uh, room of some sorts, and Jean comes back, and him and some of his buddies that went with him, in a little group brings back a couple of guns inside little cases and they're like uh, buck shots or whatever I'm not a gun guy I don't know guns if you know guns more power to you and, and so they bring guns and Armin devises another plan and his plan is saying that since okay there are seven Titans down in the supply room okay so we can get um, like a big group of us get all of us get a gun and we will go down there by uh, like the elevator pulley system thing and then they'll be facing every single direction they'll try and get all the Titans attentions to go to them and meanwhile with that there will be seven of the best you know uh, comrades of sorts on the beams looking above and then the people in the uh, elevator thing would shoot once the Titans get close enough shoot the Titans in the face blind them all and the comrades on the beams would come down, slice the titans, and they come up with, well, he comes up with that plan. And so they get ready for the plan, 
and the plan actually works. The plan legit works. Everybody shoots the Titans right in the face. Everybody from the beams comes down, starts wrecking the Titans, except Sasha and Connie. Sasha and Connie miss their targets, and they don't have the ODM gear. All they have are the swords because they don't have any gas in their ODMs. So Sasha and Connie are just like sitting ducks, and Sasha's about to get killed. I'm like, no, 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 this cannot happen to my girl Sasha. And then Mikasa comes in and saves Sasha's life. And Annie does the same for Connie. So I am super happy that Sasha is still alive. So yeah, Armin is a horrible fighter. I don't like Armin, but the guy is a pretty darn good strategist. I will give him that. He is a good strategist. But they all, they're all happy, and they're saying, finally, we get a break from this. And so they all start refilling their gas tanks, and then they begin to leave. And then they see Mika, well, Armin sees Mikasa on top of the like one of the buildings and Armin goes up there and says what are you looking at and the Titan the mystery Titan is like pinned up against one of the buildings getting eaten by the other Titans I'm like oh my gosh it's like kind of cannibalism for Titans and then back in a few episodes ago the jumper that you know killed one of their friends that ran into the clock tower that guy is just walking around and the mystery Titan sees it and it just gets super hyped up and it like rips off everything, every titan off of him. He kicks the titans off his legs, and he starts. He bites the neck of the uh, the jumper titan, and he starts swinging it into other titans. And he starts going ham, and then he gives out one last victory cry, and then he just <laughs> just topples over. And they're everybody's just looking at this, and they're like, "Oh my gosh." And then Mikasa sees something very interesting at the the nape of the neck, like right here. She sees like a human, and this human is Aaron. Aaron is uh, like he he was inside the Titan. He comes up and he's just like like fainting or fainted, and she's just like whoa. And she goes up to him. She starts hugging him and crying him. While this is happening, he's like knocked out, so he can't really feel anything. And they bring him up to like this watchtower of sorts, and they're thinking, how is this even possible? Especially Armin, because he's saying that Aaron's arm got ripped off, and Aaron's leg got ripped off. But in this new form of Aaron, his arm and leg are perfectly fine. So I don't know how this happened. Hopefully we get an answer next episode. And that is the end of the Attack on Titan episode. Alrighty. As usual, we got a question of the day, and today's question for the day is, since we found out Aaron is a titan of, I don't know how this is possible, out of the characters we've been introduced to, who would you want to be a titan? Now me, you know, my obvious answer is probably going to be Sasha, but even though it is, I'm going to say some, someone else. I want Levi. If you remember Levi, we've only been introduced to him one time. But he is apparently really, really good, and I could just imagine him being as a titan. He'd be unstoppable. Unstoppable. And that would be amazing. I just spit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that would be amazing to see Levi as a titan. I don't know if he's ever going to be a titan, so don't spoil it to me because I don't read the manga. I tried reading the manga. Uh, it's all right. I like watching the anime better, but same with Fairy Tale and Naruto. But that's, you know, those are stories for different days. But, um, yeah, I want Levi to be a Titan. That would be so awesome. What if Levi was the Armored Titan? What if he was the Colossal Titan? Oh, my gosh. Something for Levi. But let me know down in the comments who you would think or who you would like to be a Titan of all of the people that we've been introduced to so far. You can even say Aaron's mom as a Titan, whatever. As long as we've been introduced to that person, you can say that person all you want. So, with that said, that does it for today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love the well, I love the love and support that you guys give to me personally and to the channel as a whole. And I just want to thank you all so much. And as always, guys, keep it cool.